Hello everybody, it's Jista, your independent scentsy consultant here, and I'm here with the Bring Back My Bars collection of June of 2023. I got these back a few days ago, but just have not got a chance to sit down and really do a review of them and sit, um, and, uh, start melting them and everything like that. So, although these are not first sniffs, these are my first initial thoughts on these and whether I'm going to like them or not, really. And so, yeah, so we're going to go down quick order because I don't want to miss any and I got the descriptions right here in front of me. So we're going to go in alphabetical order, the first one being Beach. There was one thing that I did notice on these bars usually in the past that they've had like stickers saying like bring back my bar on them and these one, this collection is not. And I don't know if that's because it's for, this was the early release versions so they didn't have them or if they're just not going to do that anymore. Um, but that was one thing that I noticed. So, the first one is Beach. And it is a, like a cream colored wax kind of thing. And this is Papaya Honeydew Sweetened with a Hint of Coconut. You definitely do smell the, um, coconut. It, it, it brings a nice, um, Nice smell to it. The honey you can smell. I'm not exactly sure what papaya smells like. Um, but it's nice. It's got a little bit of like a f f floral kind of note to it. But the sweetness of the coconut. So good. So that is Beach. This will probably be a pretty good performer. Um, it's kind of like a medium scent. I would say very nice for the bathroom um, and just fresh and clean. So, so that's beach. Next up we have cashmere pear and this is a white amber Madagascar vanilla pear and red ginger. And this is a very nice um, kind of perfumey a little bit. That's probably the amber that I'm smelling there. And it's light. A little bit of pear. Hmm. That's a really, really good. That is a nice, nice bedroom scent. And these will be available June 1st um, to the 31st as well. So. Um, or why supplies last. Next up we have Cherry Vanilla and this is a nice little red wax here. This is Candy Cherry Sugared Almonds and White Chocolate Ice Cream. Ooh. Mmm. You definitely smell the almonds. The almonds make it a more of a like a um I would say like a, oh, masculine kind of cherry scent. I know that seems kind of crazy. White chocolate ice cream. What does white chocolate ice cream smell like? Mmm, this one's going to be good. This one's pretty strong too. Mmm. Especially being, I don't know when these were poured, but I assume that these were probably poured not that long ago. And so being that, that's pretty strong. This is going to be a pretty strong one, I would say. Next up we have Churro Churro, which is also a cream colored wax. And this is baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar to make a Churro Churro. Ooh, yes, that is, <laughs> that is such a pastry. It's a sweet scent. That's, you just kind of feel it when you walk into a bakery of some sort. Mmm, that is great. Kind of gives me like, um, walking through, um, the, um, carnival vibes. Mmm, this one's really good. It smells so good. Mm, I know why this one was really back. This one's pretty good. So far, these are all 
pretty good. Um, I think I like I said I smelled some of them. Actually, I smelled. I think I smelled all of them actually, and they're pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Some of them are always like, eh, but we'll see how they go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna melt them through the whole month of June, and we'll see how they see how they perform and see how they do. So next up we have this is a licensed bar that they. Sorry about that. A licensed bar that they actually brought back. Yes, this time around them they brought one back. Brought one licensed bar back, which is exciting. And this is Love and Kisses Mini. And this is a light pink wax, as y'all seen. And this is red berries, fresh apricot, and creamy vanilla. Mm. Red berries. So does that like raspberries? Mm. Okay, that is very fruity. That is a very fruity scent. You can smell the, the apricot too. The apricot is, it brings like a, a, um, like a, not a zesty smell, but like a peachy smell, I guess, to it. Mm. Yes, that is really good. Mm, that one is really, really good. Maybe on the lighter side, but I could see that one being pretty, pretty good. My, um, this one came broken. The clamshell came broken. I don't know why I've been getting bars like that lately. I feel like the last couple that I've got in boxes of bars that have arrived are kind of like that. So that's kind of weird. Anyways, going on to the next one, we got Fluffy Blanket. And this is a purple lavender colored wax and this is lavender sandalwood and sweet honeysuckle actually the day that i'm filming this i might be putting this one in being that has the sandalwood in it kind of thought about that but we'll see um i've been participating in patricia gates wax um melting challenge this month and it's been so amazing i've been using up so many bars and using different scents and just trying to figure out what to use um my collection has definitely grown, and I got like 400 bars at the moment, so I really need to kind of cut down on purchasing. But I couldn't, I couldn't resist to bring back my bars. So I didn't need 20 more bars, but I ended up buying 20 more bars. It's okay. But yes, I have 400 bars, so I'm trying to get through them, trying to melt them, and you know everything like that. Forget the side tangent. <laughs> Fuzzy blanket. Hmm. This is very comforting. I could see, uh, this is actually a very perfect name for this one. Fuzzy Blanket. Yes, that is, that is a very comforting smell. Mmm. Mmm, that's a great smell. And that was Fuzzy Blanket. Mm, next up we have Ghostly Greetings. This is one that people talk about all the time either saying that they hate it or love it we'll see what this is this is uh black plum spiced berry and bourbon let's go ahead and open it this one i have another bar i bought this during a flash sale maybe i don't know if it was the last one or the one before that but i did buy this bar during a flash sale i don't think i used it it's just not one that i uh, go towards love the purple love the purple wine colored wax um i just don't know if i'm in love with the smell it i think it's the black plum but it kind of smells like oh my goodness what is that thing um it's just it's not my favorite, so I don't know if I will be clubbing that one. Um, actually, I don't even know how many of these I will be, I will be club clubbing, but um, yeah, I just don't know if I'm sure about this one. We're gonna melt it, see. I like I like you all know, I'm not much of a spicy scent person, although I feel like that's that may be changing a little bit with um, just a couple bars that I've kind of fell in love with, like um. 
maple rum cake and uh, rum raisin cookie. They got they got some spices to them, and I fell in love with those ones. Um, I also fell in love with fried fried ice cream. So there's been a couple scents that I have actually fell in love with that are kind of like on the spicier side. But um, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna you know go go with it. So there's that. Um, I'm kind of rambling this for y'all. I apologize. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, we have Happy Birthday, and this is Sugar, Whipped Cream, and Vanilla Extract. This literally smells like a birthday cake. Like, you cannot get any closer to that than a birthday cake. Like, this is... I cannot get it on the shelf. There we go. This is a... Oh, this is a pink wax. This is so, 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 so good. So sweet. It is amazing. If you love sweet scents, this is a must-have because it is so sweet. I could see that this one being a good mixer, um, but it's so good. It's so good. It is a great scent. I'm not sure when that one was. I feel like I've never actually died. Any of these scents, I never heard of before this time, except for Hemingway. I did hurt here of Hemingway. That one was several years old, though. Um, I do know that much. Uh, my mom had that one years ago, but n not on my Scentsy time. Obviously, I wasn't much into Scentsy. My mom more was, and she would get stuff, but it was only occasionally, and it was like, you know, whatever, but... I'm so rambly in this video. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. Next up we have Harbor e Harbor's Edge. And this is a blue, light blue wax. And this is beach grass, flowering raspberry, northern oak, fern, and a salty musk. Salty? Salty musk. Harbor's Edge. Hmm. It's really good too. This one's more of a masculine scent, um, but it is fresh and it's nice. Um, I don't know. I don't know what much to say about that one. It's it's different. I like it though. I do. I just don't know. If, uh, I don't know. Next up, speaking of Hemingway, it's Hemingway. And this is a maroon reddish wax. This is ripe apples, sandalwood, cedar, and spice. So we'll see how this one is. I'm not a big apple scent person, nor a spice scent. So let's see. Go into it with an open mind. Okay. It's definitely spicy see whenever I smell a spicy scent and I don't know what it is I don't know if it's just like me like thinking I'm smelling a spicy scent so like my brain just like triggers but like my nose literally burns like I don't know what it is I do smell the apples it's a um I don't think it's a red apple, but I don't know if it's a, it's not a green apple either. What are the um, other apples? Are they like Macintosh apples? That's, that's, a Macintosh apple is a red apple though, isn't it? It might be a Macintosh apple. Hmm. It's good. It's good. I don't know if I would buy more, but it's good. No, my mom loves that one. She loves that one. But she, she loves those kind of scents. Like those warm, cozy, homey, homey, spicy, um, just like, folly, I guess, <laughs> scents that are like, go, like, that kind of smells like going to like a, pump, like a pumpkin patch or something. Like, I kind of get that vibe. Like, you know how you go to like a pump, not even like a pumpkin patch, but like, just like a fall festival. That's probably what that smells like. Because like, I feel like, when that one 
you know, you have the, like, the trees that they sell, and, like, there has, like, you know, the pine trees, and the, yeah, we're not going there. Stop rambling. <laughs> Anyways, next up we have My Wish, and this is Fig, Violet, and Marshmallow. This one is really, really good. Um, I don't know how to explain this one. Other than to say, it's very unique. But this one, whenever I smell this one, so I smelled this one yesterday. This was the first. That was the first time I was smelling it. And this one smells really, really good. It's um sweet. Does it? Yep, it's sweet. It has marshmallow. That's what brings the sweetness. This one is really, really, really nice. It's like I said though, it's unique. Um very unique next up we had painted leaves and this one was one that my mom actually voted back um this is blue spruce blue spruce red maple and golden woods and this is an orange one this now we used to come from pennsylvania so this is literally like in the fall and this is what my mom describes it as but like this is a literal like fall day walking through the woods um you just smell the wood like so like they would like stop saying like they would end up like oh my goodness <laughs> you could smell when they would cut the trees down because they you know in the the winter they would cut the, the, like, the dead trees down or whatever so this smells like a fall crisp airy day in the, the Pennsylvania mountains next up we have plum and white woods which is a purpley wax and this is raspberry preserves damson plum and a vanilla orchard This has plum in it? No. Yeah, it does. Okay. I definitely, definitely get the plum. I guess that's why it's called Plum and White Woods. Bleh. It's gonna have plum in it. I definitely get the plum. If you really smell it, you can smell the raspberry. I'm not sure what a vanilla orchard is supposed to smell like. I guess it just adds like a, maybe like a perfumey scent to it. Because I feel like it does have like a perfumey scent to it. That is really, really nice. I could see me liking that one. I could see me definitely liking that one. I say this. This is just cool to them. We'll see what, what things bring when it, they, they warm. Because they, they are so, like, things change when they're warming. Usually for the better. Like if you like it cold, you're going to like it warm. Usually. Sometimes it's the opposite. Where you, if you... You, don't, you might not like it cold, but like you don't like it warming, or you really like it warming. I'm not like maple rum cake. Oh, that's so good. I'm so sad. <laughs> My sensey heartbreak right there. Next up, we have Rustic Lodge, and this is cedar oak, musk, wood smoke, and fallen leaves. And this is a green wax. Now, this one, just by the description. I feel like I'm going to love this one. So we'll, we'll see. Okay, okay. Okay. It's good. Um, not really what I was thinking. But it's so good. That is so good. This honestly smells like a wood cabin. Like, going up into the mountains spending the night in a cabin or like what I would assume because I've never been in a cabin but like what I would think a cabin would smell like because a cabin's made out of like wood so you smell like wood like this is very very like a very true wood scent yes that is so good that is amazing I'm gonna like that one I'm gonna like that one okay we got six more here 
So let's go through these. Southern Sweet Tea. And this was one that I actually voted back because I've never smelled this one, but it sounded so good. This is heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea in an orange wax. And yes, 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 yes. This is a great peach scent. This is a great peach scent. Some peach scents I don't like because they just, they have a bad smell to them. But this peach is done right. Like the peach from Bath and Body Works, I think it's called like George. Georgia sweet peach tea or peach Georgia Georgia peach tea it might be Georgia peach tea or sweet Georgia peach tea something like that they have that scent from Bath and Works. I bought it and I loved it and then it just went like very south very quickly so this is a good peach I would be curious to know what this one smells like when it's warming but yeah we will see what that one, how that one goes once for me. This one is good. So I'm glad I voted that one back because I'm excited about that one. Next up, we have Sweet Pear and Van Sweet Pea and Vanilla. I'm sorry. This is Raspberry Sweet Pea and Vanilla. I am not much of a Sweet Pea scent person, so I smelling this I am not so sure about this one why does another one come out so let's go ahead and smell this one the raspberries make it smell better you can smell the raspberries but I'm not a sweet pea person so I don't can't give it a true reading it does smell like sweet pea um so, if you like sweet pea, then you probably like this. But if you don't, then I don't know. It's interesting. It's very interesting. But yeah. So, that's sweet pea and vanilla. Next up is vanilla suede. And this is a brown wax. This is vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and spice. And when you smell this one, and my mom actually pointed this out, but I do 100% agree with her. And she's not the only one that agrees, but this kind of smells like jammy time. So if you like jammy time, you might like this. Um, it is a very nice, comforting scent. And even, even <laughs> my boyfriend who ended up like just figuring this out and just kind of like getting into it with me said that it smelled like something he smelled before so and he liked he liked jammy time and he, so he likes he liked this one last night when he smelled it it was so funny but yeah so that is vanilla suede next up we have watermelon patch and this is literally watermelon it smells like watermelon jolly ranchers if any of you've had that that's a pink pink wax and it is straight up watermelon this is honestly such a great watermelon it is definitely different than watermelon wave um but this is so good i smelled this one i last night and i was like oh my goodness it smells so good it literally smells like watermelon jolly ranchers like kids like oh my goodness like nostalgia right there so yeah watermelon batch we got two more and we got white sands this is a cream colored wax which is jasmine coconut milk and rice that literally says rice what does rice oops what does rice smell like Mm, it's fresh, very fresh. Jasmine. You do smell like the floral, but you get the balance of the coconut milk, the sweetness from the coconut milk. That is really, really good. I will 
be interested in smelling that one and warming this one and seeing what this one smells like. I, this is a seems like to be a lighter scent. Um, so I don't know how it performed. Maybe a good bathroom scent, but we'll see. We'll, I'll give you my honest review uh, probably at the end of June um, on these as I go through them all month long <laughs> with you guys. We'll go through with you, with you guys. The last one is white out and this is peppermint sweet golden apple and winter pine and let me tell you i smelled this one yesterday and fell in love with this one i'm not sure if i i may have voted this one i'm not 100 percent sure i don't even know which ones i voted back like i said i've never smelled any of these so i'm excited that we get the opportunity to smell these ones This one is so good. The peppermint and the pine just go so well together. They like balance each other out. I don't know if I smell any golden apples. I think the uh, peppermint may overpower that aspect of it a little bit, but maybe you can smell it. But it is so good. It is so good, but it's not like a straight up peppermint. You definitely get the pine in there that balances that out. Like, you know. Um, the peppermint, perfect peppermint is like so peppermint. That was actually in the last, um, bring back my bar round. Um, and there's another one, peppermint, peppermint dreams. That one is pretty much all peppermint too. With a little bit of vanilla. That was a little bit of vanilla. But like this has a good balance of peppermint and then the pine. So it's not like so pepperminty, but it's, this one's good. White out. It. And that's white out and like i said it's like a white it's, it's a white wax it's a white wax so that was all 20 bring back my bars my favorite one being probably either the um southern sweet tea or rustic lodge maybe and maybe even the white out i did enjoy that one as well on cold sniff so yeah that is the um bring back my bars that are coming out for june 2023 um they will be releasing first thing june 1st um so that's 12 a.m 1201 a.m um pacific standard time that is 301 um, eastern standard time and where else you are um they'll be releasing and yeah so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you for joining me in this long somewhat rambling video i'll let you know um on my instagram and um maybe in a weekly check-in on my thoughts on these bars but i'm so happy to be having them and i'm so excited to for you guys to try them let me know what you guys think if you get them and I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.